Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We are taking a look at an off the grid style travel trailer that's been super popular over the last few years with a new addition that helps bring the price point down. This is the 2023 Forest River Ibex Essentials Only Edition model 23BHEO. We are gonna be taking a look at the outside features first and the inside features. Then we're gonna give you three things we love about the Ibex and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Again today, I am super excited to be showing you the all new Ibex Essentials Only Edition. It's very exciting. Before I begin, gotta say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good, guys. I really like the Ibex brand as a whole. I love the off the grid look. I love the um, the way they're constructed with the Asdell and everything. And um, I'm really excited to see this floor plan. It's got some cool stuff going on with it. So can't wait to show you guys. Yes, sir. And some things that it doesn't have to help keep the price Correct. Down. Yes. Well, let's begin. Okay. Model is the Essentials Only Edition 23BHEO. The actual tip to tip length is 26 feet 2 inches. The dry weight is 4,653 pounds and the hitch weight is 630 pounds. Well, this the Ibex, again, it has been super popular over the last couple of years. Everybody likes with the Jeep Gladiator, right. the Ford Rangers and stuff, people like towing this. Right here, manual tongue jack, not power tongue jack. Okay. That's one of the big differences. LP tanks go here and your batteries go here. It's still an Ibex, it's still designed the same. You still got the diamond plate rock guard, fiberglass sides with aluminum framing. Yep. So it's very, very nice. Right here we do have manual stabilizing jacks. Okay. And then here we have very awesome pass-through storage held up by a magnet. Cool. Now the Ibex is gonna be sister products to the Novo. Right. I like the Ibex better with the um, little uh, deer here or whatever. Yeah. Coming on down, I really like the blue graphic design. Huge power awning with LED lights, very nice. Well, black steps, womp, womp, womp. Yeah. Guys, you know we love our solid steps. Even if this is the essentials only, you know, it's just like, even though they're fold-up steps, they should've done the aluminum ones. I agree. You know what I'm saying? Nice grab handle here. Scan this QR code if you guys wanna learn more about Ibex. Okay. And then right there, well, is a sticker that says Asdell. Asdell, if you guys don't know, is a composite material and it will never delaminate on you. That's right. Right here we do have a water heater. Power for the outside right there. Cool. And then look at these tires. Well, they're Castle Rocks. ST205-75R15. And you can see that it's not the Wrangler tires that the normal Ibex has. That's right. Essentials only. Coming on down, you got an LP Quick Connect. If you do want to have a grill. Very nice storage right here. Yeah, for sure. Yes, sir. And then coming around the back, we do have a very nice bumper for the Stinky Slinky. Spare tire, spare tire carrier. No ladder to get up on the roof. It is prepped for the Furion backup camera. And look at that sticker. Follow the journey at Ibex RVs. There you go. There you go. Coming around, Will, look at this beautiful site right here. Yes. 30 amp power cord plugged in. I love it. Right there, that's where you dump your black and gray tanks. You also have a cable satellite hookup right there. Yep. Low point valves, look at how high it sits. Very nice to dump the tanks. And you just you just see the clearance there when you're towing down the road. Right. Right here is going to be your city water connection and your fresh tank fill for your potable water fill. Potable. Potable. And then here's just the other side of that storage. Very nice. Yes, sir. It is nice. Take a look at that again. I love the logo. I think it looks fantastic. Yeah, I like the essentials only part too. Yeah, I mean, it looks good. It looks, it fits. The outside of this RV looks great, but the inside looks even better. Come on, Will. Let's go. Take a look. All right. Check out the inside. All right, starting up front, you have the Murphy bed and couch. You got the dinette, nice kitchen here. You got the double over doubles right there. And in the back corner is the full bathroom. Well, Will, 
before we start with the inside, we gotta get cooled off a bit. And let's take a big shout out to the sponsor of this episode. One, two, three, Are you looking to make your mark on the RV industry? Well, look no further than Lippert Scouts. As a member of the Lippert Scouts community, you'll have your opportunity to share feedback on products and services that you've used during your adventures. Your insight will be used to drive innovation and development for years to come. You could be the key to unlocking the next big thing in RV. But Lippert Scouts isn't just about making a difference. It's also about connecting fellow RVers and campers in an awesome community, guys. Swap tips, hacks, your favorite camping stories, and make new friends that have that same passion for the outdoors as you do. And if you need support, no problem. There's Lippert customer care team members on that app, always available and willing to help. Guys, join Lippert Scouts today. It's completely free. You can get to it on Facebook, or now they have the app. You can get it for Apple and Android. You can get the full experience at your fingertips. Don't wait. Be a part of this great community that is really shaping the future of RV. Join Lippert Scouts today. Well, we are back here. Small travel trailer. You know we have the Murphy set up. Right? Yeah. Right here we have two tables. Uh, nothing right there, but there is a little bit of storage right there. Okay. Check out this balance, okay? And you do have these types of lines. Womp, womp. It is what it is. Right here, here's where you can control your lights, your porch lights, your awning, slide out room, all right there. And then here is a decent style of jackknife sofa. Yeah. Again, it is for the Murphy bed, and it's not made to, it's made to be rugged, not right, to be right. and comfortable. If you're looking at the sofa and you think womp womp, and you want a Thomas Payne, you need to go with a fancier unit. Right. This for sure. is made, this is the, you know, off the grid people. You yep. Know? Just the, the red, white, and blue. That's what this America. is. America. Yes, sir. Now, just like this, you can see that there is some storage underneath there. Okay. And then this just jackknifes like that. Before I drop the bed down, let me show everybody this storage right here. A little bit of closet space. You got power and USB on both sides. Yes. And closet space on this side as well. And then check this out. Even though this is the Murphy bed, it actually is one of the best ones just like that. It drops down and help. If you notice the profile there, yeah. that's how they're able to do it like right, that. Right, you know? right. Really nice, Will. And what is nice about this, if you don't like the Murphy bed, you can just keep it permanent, the bed like this. Yeah, it's, it's not in the way. Yeah, it can still come in and out. You do have storage on both sides and lights on both sides. Yes, and then uh, before we show everybody the dinette, notice these oh. chairs right here, Will, in the kitchen. Right. It also doubles as like a breakfast bar. Yeah, for sure. Right over here is the dinette. As you can tell, it's definitely one of our least favorite style of dinettes. Right. But that is because of how tall this travel trailer sits. There is storage right there. And over here. Yep. And then right here, I'm sitting in the dinette. Believe it or not, well, it's actually kind of good for me. Yeah. But uh, if you sit here, you know. It's going to be a little bit tighter, probably. A little bit, not too bad. It's right. okay. And actually, the head height is as bad great. as what I remember. Yeah. Uh, there is a nice big window here. I do wish there were side windows here I and here. It's open too. Yeah. Definitely, especially in an Ibex well. Yep. That actually really should have opened because um, you know, you're going places and you might not always have power. For sure. Here's what is good. This does drop down to make a bed. Yep. And it is very, very nice. Well, do you do the kitchen or do we do the MSRP? Uh MSRP. It's now time for the MSRP. Burr, 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 burr. Will, we could have done the MSRP in the kitchen. Right. MSRP on this unit is $38,715. Will, that is MSRP. That's not bad at all. Sale price, Miss Jen, please put the sale price right there so everybody can see who's watching on television. And Will, yeah, that is significantly cheaper than some of the other Ibexes Absolutely. we've seen. Absolutely. And Will, regardless, if you want the essentials only or the regular Ibex, I think we can get everybody a little bit of a better price than that. So if you're interested, all you got to do is go to generalrv.com slash Cash. We've linked it down in the YouTube description below. You can get there from mattsrvreuse.com or call 844-969-4033. Reach out to our team. Somebody from our team will help get everybody the absolute best price in America. Will, let's continue the video. All right. Over here, decent amount of 
countertop space, especially if you utilize this yes. portion, even though it's kind of the bar. You got a nice extension faucet right here. Nice uh, circular sink hole. A little more countertop space there and a window that does open to let in some fresh air. We didn't comment on it. I am liking the countertop. Yeah. That natural that. wood brain look. Yeah, for sure. Storage underneath. Like you said, like they're not going to do solid surface in here, but they definitely elevated the uh, wood countertops. Nice storage up top here. Great stone range hood right there. Well, we just messed up the audio. Did we? Sorry, America. It's 100 degrees. Yeah. And we had it in dump mode. We're sorry. You got the Elite Series Suburban cooktop. No oven, but you do have a convection microwave right there. Yes, sir. And right over here, you have a... Compre a no compressor, I'm sorry. A two-way refrigerator. Yes. So this works off of electricity or propane. Propane or electric, yes, sir. And then over here... You got some pantry space and storage for the kids stuff and that pretty much wraps up the bathroom well the kitchen i'm looking and i'm liking i agree look at these bunk beds yeah they're really nice and big fantastic i'm gonna tell you something but i'm gonna hold it in for just a few moments okay but here's what i will say fantastic bunk beds teddy bear series storage underneath there and then the curtains for the privacy and they both have lights in them and USBs in them to charge their iPads and their phones. Very nice. Yep. And they both have windows on both sides and both of those windows do open up. Okay. Let's check out this bathroom. Go stand that. Oh, that's not that bad. No, it's not. I mean, it's not gonna pass. I don't, oh, 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 I don't know. No, I mean, there's a fair amount of head height. Good width. The depth isn't bad, but I'm not gonna hit them too hard on this. And I do like this shower curtain better than like just a regular curtain. Regular curtain and how it's like the radius up top. I'm actually gonna pass this. Ding! That's the shower test seal of approval. It Very sure nice. Right over here, again with that natural look like countertop. Little sink, you don't need one really in here. You got another uh, little sink right there or a um, little bit of storage there. Yep. Nice mirrored medicine cabinet here. And oh, liquefied. There you go. Our brand of black tank chemical. Will, we now have the pods. They might yes. not be out yet but they they're coming out within the next 30 to 45 days that we're filming this go to primepoopposition.com we have it in liquid and now we have it in drop-in pod forms whatever one works best for you this is our brand thank you everybody who's been buying it and using it and thank you to everybody who's been reviewing it will right because um it we really just didn't put our name on a package oh, I yeah like exactly. it, it really is good stuff but you know it's not good stuff this plastic toilet, toilet. Classic toilet. Womp, 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 womp. You know, it just is what it is, Will. We don't make them, we just review them. That's right. Well, Will, that's it. That's the review. Short and sweet. This is a small unit. Now, before everybody goes, it's time to give people three things we love about this unit and three things we don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Three things we love. Love? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. May I? Sure. I love this Murphy bed setup. Yeah. So many times they give you the crappy mattress. This is the better mattress. You can still upgrade to the RVmattress.com mattress with this. And it just works out really well. A lot of times the Murphy beds, they'll have it so it like folds up in half or it's like a thin little sheet or whatever. So I do love this feature. Yeah. That is number one. Will, number two? Um, I'm gonna say the bunks. Those yes. are nice big wide bunks and they're nice and long as well. So, you know, they're good even if you have teenager or older kids. Um, you can definitely still make that work. Well, you missed it. You missed it. Why? Repeat what you just said. They're, They're nice, nice and wide. Nice and deep. No, you said long. Yeah. Nice and long, but you also forgot the depth. Oh, right. The cubic footage in here. Yeah. The three-dimensional size. You, you weren't wrong. You just missed the third dimension. Yeah. I love that. That right. This is a huge opening. Right. Wow. That's number two. And then, well, we need a number three. Oh, I got a number three. What? For how small this travel trailer is. Look at that head height. Yeah, that is really good. Unreal. For sure. You want to combo it with anything? No, I think that's it. Uh, I can combo it with the countertops. They look pretty good. Yeah. Really, really nice. Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things that we don't necessarily like about this travel trailer. Okay. You go first. So for me, I was thinking, with this breakfast bar here, uh -huh. I wish I'd get rid of this dinette. Yep. 
put a couch in and just make that a standard bed. Or I mean, or no, bed's fine. Double double sofas. Double sofas. Yes, yeah. one hundred thousand percent. That is dislike number one. Will I couldn't agree with you more. Okay. Dislike number two. I don't like the how elevated up. this is. Yeah. Not only that, I'm gonna combo it. This is a beautiful window. Make oh, it open. Make it open. Yeah. I gotta breathe. I need to breathe in here. That is number two. Mm -hmm. And then well, we need a third dislike. Tell you today the dislike is that the AC is inducted. Well, it doesn't need to be ducted in here. It's, I it's, know. It's, it's, it's an opening. It's an opening, Will. Dislike number two. And then dislike number three. Dislike number three, Will. I'm going there. The black steps on the outside. Yep. Again, I understand the off-road style doesn't want to do the solid steps, but give me those aluminum mm -hmm. ones. Those rust, those are they get stuck they're a pain mm -hmm. in the butt the aluminum alumatreds or whatever they're just so nice they are they're glot they glide out yep fantastic neither here nor there well that's it that's the review overall i'm giving this an a plus for the essentials only edition i think they did a great job right. if you guys are interested in this ibex or any ibex or any rv at all please go to generalrv.com slash mats cash i've linked it down in the youtube description below you can get there from mattsrvreviews.com or call 844-969-4033. A member of our team at General RV will then reach out to you and get you guys the absolute best price in America. Will, what say you? Yeah, thank you all so much for watching and I hope you liked the essentials only version yes. of the Ibex. I've always been a big fan of the Ibex to begin with, so I'm glad they're uh, coming out with some differences and different types of IDEXs. Make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like and three things you dislike about this floor plan. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody so much you. for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time.